The use of imaging and radiology practices in healthcare service provision in Uganda has existed since the 1940s. The professionals say the use of evidence-based healthcare practices improves treatment outcomes. Remember, we used to have all these tests done in the lab. They would get, they would be negative, but this patient would be in ICU, and people would, in that line, people would say that is not COVID because the lab test is negative. But we were standing alone on a CT scan to say that this is COVID. So this really brought out the need to really have radiology and imaging services be prioritized. And I think it's because of this that ministry decided to come up and buy CT scans for all the regional referral hospitals. Professor Elsie Cheguli Malwadde. Uganda's first female radiologist says the government's move to equip regional referral hospitals with CT scan machines is good, but provisions for human resource to run them must be made. We need to make sure that that equipment that has put, been put in those uh, hospitals, especially up country, is well maintained. So the, we need a budget for uh, equipment. And then secondly, another challenge, we need human resource at uh, those hospitals to run the equipment. We need radiologists, we need radiographers. And at the moment, in some of those places, there are no radiologists. So we need them to be there to make, to make use of the equipment. Currently, only 50% of all patients in urban areas that require radiology and imaging services can access them. This figure drops drastically to 10% in rural areas with over 90% plain x-rays uninterpreted for patients. Professor Michael Kawoya asked for more investment in training facilities. Before you start training, you must have a curriculum. And the curriculum dictates what you're going to teach. And our curriculum needs to be updated to uh, onboard those new uh, technologies, uh, those new approaches, those new standards of quality and safety. We are not yet there. Uh, As of this year, there are 52 computerized tomography machines and 10 magnetic resonance imaging machines in the country. These machines are used to examine any body part for things like accumulated fluid, tumors and blockages with extreme preciseness. Walter Mwesije, NTV.